Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. I'm your host David. I'm standing in the creek in Great Mills at the kayak launch. I'm going to spend a little time fishing and then I might show it to you in a little different way. Today's July 28th. It's about 3.45 in the afternoon. Let's have some fun. There's one. I had a bass following it. We got a nice red breast. Yeah, it had a nice largemouth following it. Hey, buddy. There you go. There's the second fish of the day. Another red breast. Got pretty is in that water. Come here, buddy. Yeah, gorgeous. Why you should always cast behind yourself. Number four. That's a perch. That's a yellow perch. I'm right here behind this tree. Something kind of came out and hit it. Now something's got it. I was following it right there. Nope, he didn't follow it, he got it. Another red ear, or I'm sorry, another red breast. You finding any treasures? A belt buckle, okay. But no, I haven't. That's pretty cool. I heard that beeping, beeping. I'm like, am I gonna be abducted by aliens? Because I couldn't see you all. I saw the car out there, and I heard beep, 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 beep. I'm like, um, and then I look down. And I'm like, oh, there's people up there. Oh, okay. So, hope you have a good day. There we go. There's our trifecta. We're gonna let you go. Enjoy. Okay, I think this is gonna be our last fish of the day. Then I'm gonna go back and grab something from the car. He sure is pretty. Yep, there he is. I think that's number eight when it comes to the red breast. Okay, so by my count, that was 10 fish. One yellow perch, eight or so of the red breast, and one bass. So that, that's the fishing part. Now I want to try to show it to you in a little different way. Or at least I want to try to have fun with it. So if you enjoy the fishing, that's the end of the fishing for this video. You can just fast forward or just click and go to another video. But if you want to see something different, stick with me. What I'm hoping to do is to put my snorkel gear on and snorkel around one of these deeper pools. See if we can see anything. I don't know, we'll find out.
Okay, so that didn't work out as well as I would have liked. I was really hoping to be able to see a few fish in the water, but it's just too turbid. So the next time I come and try to do it, I'll film first underwater, and then I'll fish, because that's probably what stirred up most of the actual sediment that's here. Learn as you go, right? Learn as you go. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And until next time, tight lines.